first there was a ship called Diamondback. After several days it was renamed into Diamondback Scout. After several days there's another Diamondback, this time Explorer. So let's take a look at Diamondback Explorer. It's quite different from Scout. It has bigger hull mass, same power plant, same thrusters, one class higher frameship drive, life support, power distributor and sensors, and as well as fuel tank. Higher class internals, so you can have one class higher shield generator, maximum cargo 52 tons. It has same 4 utility mounts, 2 medium, 1 large hardpoint. Large hardpoint is located below your ship. Medium hardpoints are located same place as on Scout. Top speed for my outfitted ship is around 260 meters per second, boost 340 meters per second. Jump range around 29 light years. That is for completely combat outfitted ship, so jump range is really impressive. Maximum jump range would be around 35 light years. Let's compare Diamondback vs. Diamondback, Scout vs. Explorer. Let's see if those ships are really different ships or same ships. And let's start with shipyards. That's for my already combat outfitted ships. Base price for Scout is around 300-500k. Well, I would say 500, but I see on wiki page 300, so we'll see. Explorer is much more expensive. Base price for ship will be around 2 2.5 million. Top speed for scout is around 50 meters per second more. Boost speed around 80 meters per second. Also, it's much more agile. 360 degree pitch in scout took me 8 seconds. In Diamondback Explorer, 10 seconds. Frameship drive range, however, is much better for Diamondback Explorer. Shields are slightly better for Explorer, same as armor. Hull mass 170 tons for Diamondback Scout and almost 300 for Explorer. So Explorer is almost twice as heavy. Now let's take a quick look at outfitting screen. Available power, same. I had no cargo on both ships, well, 4 tons doesn't count. Fuel capacity, as you see, 32 tons for Explorer, 16 for Scout. Mass, current 264, Scout and 426 for Explorer. And jump range 22 for Scout, 29 almost for Explorer. And pitching, like I said, 8 seconds for Scout, 10 for Explorer. Now let's take a look at hard points and internals. As you see, Scout maximum 28 tons of cargo without shields, Explorer 52 tons. Almost twice as much, but still not enough to use the ship as trading ship. Hard points too small, too medium for scout, too medium and large for explorer. One large instead of too small is huge improvement, especially if you are against medium and large ships. Four utility mounts for both ships. Power plant same size, which is a shame. Trusters same size, and that's why. Explorer is not that agile. Frameshift drive, one class higher for Explorer, thus jump range is higher. Life support, one class higher for Explorer, same as power distributor, which actually makes a big difference if you are using Explorer for fighting. Sensors, also one class higher for Explorer. Fuel tank, also, meaning double size. 32 tons against 16. Shield generator, one class higher, but because of almost doubled mass, it's again it's not that big. But you can use class 4 shield cell bank. So Scout has one class 2, three class 3 internals, and Explorer has two class 4, two class 3 and one class 2. Does that make Explorer to be worth 2.5 mil? I don't know. So, as you see, those ships are both called Diamondbacks, but they are quite different. So here is Diamondback Explorer. 
In live build the price will be around 2 million, but this is beta and the prices here are like 1% from real prices. That's why it costs only 20,000. Top speed 242, boost speed 316. For utility mounts, 2 medium and 1 large hard point, so it's considerable upgrade from 2 small hard point that Scout has. Cargo compartments, 2 size 4, 2 size 3, 1 size 2. Let's just buy the ship. So here it is, and let's take a look at cockpit right away. It seems same cockpit as Diamondback Scout. If there are changes, there are very minor changes. Visibility, as you see, is perfect. Very good for fighting. You can see on sides, above. You can track target with head tracking devices, very good. And it's almost identical to Diamondback Scout, which makes sense. And those ships, even while they have differences, are almost the same model. As you see, the large beam laser still does a lot of damage. And as it's located below your ship, it's good for fixed weapons. And when shields are down, you can finish enemy with your gimbal or not so gimbal if you don't like gimbal, cannons, multi cannons, whatever. But medium cannons are very good, especially if you are like that close. So no problems killing pythons, NPC pythons, of course. The ship is not that agile, you can feel that right away, especially pitching. Compared to scouts 8 seconds, explorer can do 360 degree pitching in 10 seconds. And that's with 4 pips, 2 engines. And you can use on all hard points fixed weapons effectively, as for gimbal, maybe you could use 3 gimbal in same fire group, but large hardpoint will not track enemies above center of your field of view. Same as on Anaconda or Ferdelands. It's a nice ship for new players, and as soon there will be Xbox One release, Frontier is releasing ships for new players more than for experienced players. So I don't see much use of it, if you can afford Vulture or bigger ships. Well, unless you really care jump range, then yes. 29 light years for almost fully combat fitted ship is really nice. But shields could be better. Cargo space also is not impressive. Only hard points are very interesting, because we didn't have any ship with one large and two medium hard points. Especially within this price range. As for exploration, if you care about safety, then yeah, jump range is great and you can have a lot of powerful modules as well. But this is not multi-purpose ship. You can mine, yes. 
You can trade, yes, but for that price you can get much better ship for trading or mining. Exploration? Yes. Wiki page says that you can get up to 35 light years, which is quite impressive. Still, if you can afford ASP, you can get bigger jump range. Fighting? Yes. Until you can afford better ship. So it's just one more ship that we'll fly and then probably forget. Or maybe use a taxi ship.